Off the heels of a disappointing no-show in Pittsburgh, Marc-Andre Fleury got the start for the Wild in Boston, where they played a tight game which was blown open in the last seven minutes. It was 2-1 for the Bruins after two past a meatballs in the first period. Then we had a stalemate for 37 minutes where Fleury stood on his head with the help of Faber as he battled Allmark. And then finally, with seven minutes to go, the Wild evened up with their man, Kirill Kaprizov. He wins the battle in the front with Carlo and gets the juicy rebound, beating Allmark, making it 2-2. Then just two minutes later, minutes Minnesota cycling the puck. It comes to Faber. He claps one on net. It's blocked, but drops in front, and Hartman is on the doorstep to bang home the rebound this time, and it's 3-2. Also, Faber wasn't actually given an assist on this one stat-wise. Rossi got it for whatever reason, I guess just for being there. Kind of curious whether that stands, but Faber clearly puts it on net. The NHL says no, no to his rookie stats, but I gotta continue to shout this guy out. He's just unreal as a rookie and was on the ice for both of these last two goals and would go on to log over 30 minutes of ice time. By the way, we did a full-length rookie review video, which you might be interested in. Anyway, 30 minutes of ice time is half the game, and as a rookie, to defend the Bruins, that's insane pressure, and don't worry, the Bruins would give him some more high-pressure minutes as they tie it up before the period is out as the rat finds a morsel of cheese in a greasy mess, forcing extra time. Fortunately for the Wild, it was Krill Knight in the NHL, and that's the hero who would come to their aid as he flies down the wing in OT, finding Eric and Eck, who gets open on the two-on-one for the one-timer, and that's game. Kaprizov, who's definitely been having an off year, scores his 10th as the Wild take it 4-3 in Beantown and are now 8-3 since making the coaching chains. And just like the Oilers, at least until recently, they've gotten themselves back in the mix of things, just four points back of a wild card spot. And now that's Marc-Andre Fleury's career win number 549, which puts him just too shy of tying Patrick Waugh in three away from sole possession of second all time behind Brodeur, something no one will probably ever reach. When do you think Flurry passes Wall? Will he do it before December is done? Will it be in January? And where do you rank the flower all time? Let us know down below.